Okay, I'm back with my second tutorial on C programming. <coughs> this one I'm going to elaborate on the printf function and show you some other things you can do with it that you probably didn't know about already. But before that, I need to show you where, how variables work. So I'm just going to make a variable right now. Okay, so this is a variable. Its name is num, n-u-m. It is an integer type, and it's storing the value 5. When you hear variable, think like algebra. x equals 5, where in the function blah blah blah. That's basically what we're doing. We're creating a variable, we're giving it a value, but in C you have to specifically say what type it is. In this case it's an integer. An integer is a number which can be both positive and negative. So now to use this, vari this variable, I have to use a special character that's uh, that printf recognizes, and I need to put it in the format string. That's what this is. This isn't just a string, this is a format string. So this is the special character, percent %d. I can show you inside of uh, the C reference guide. we can use the C++ reference guide for our purposes. And as you can see, this is the list of special characters recognized in the C language in the printf function. So, the first thing we saw is the, the percent sign. This tells us that uh, the next character is going to be uh, sp one of these, and it's going to have a specific meaning. But if we write two of these, then we'll get a regular percent sign. So it's kind of one of the tricks in C. So to write out an, uh, to write out the, for the value inside of num, we put percent d here, the comma here, and we type in the vari variable name. So percent %d will go to the very first item in the variable list, and it'll store it inside of the string in its place. And that's how we extract, how we place a variable in our standard output. However, what if we wanted to put uh, an actual percent sign down? Well, to do that, as the guide says, a percent sign followed by another percent sign. Okay, so put two percent signs here. Now I'm just going to compile this quickly. program. So there, you see I made hello world percent 5, or the value stored in num. I can also do something like this. this. 
and I'll compile again. And you see, hello world, percent five, hello world ten. So we can dynamically, uh, yeah, dynamically change the uh, value stored in num, the variable num and it'll use the new value sequentially so every line in here is getting executed sequentially first line at the first line of the main it uh, creates a variable called an integer variable called num which has the value 5 in it the next line it invokes the printf function with the string value hello world percent 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 d so that's two spe special characters in that, and it uses the value, the variable num, in place of percent %t. Then it goes on to store the value ten in num, and from this point on, every time num is invoked, its new value is the one that gets uh, sh that shows up. So now we have a different problem. Both of these uh, s printf statements are on the same, li same line. So how do we fix that so that it's o that they're on their own line? We do that with the with another special character. A special character. I guess they don't have it in the list. Well, at least I'm not too lazy to find it. Well, the vet, what I'm talking about is slash n. This is the new line character. Every time this is invoked, it has it creates a new line. So now I'll compile and run the program again. And I forgot to save. And there we go. So now we have a new line here. Okay, so now let's make a third printf. And a second variable. This time it... W let's change this one to an unsigned int. And you're probably wondering what this, what unsigned means. Signed and unsigned has to do with uh, binary language. Because uh, we're dealing with ones and zeros in binary. Uh, it has no idea how to do negative numbers on the computer. So in s instead, we sign numbers. Normally in a computer, what you'll see is ma zero zero one 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 re representing some number. This one I can tell you is positive, but if we want to do a negative number, we make the first number a one. So as long as the first number is a one, we know it's a negative. But that's only on a signed integer. If it's an unsigned int, then this bec this actually becomes a positive number in itself. If it's an if it's a signed int, then this would indicate a negative. And thus, this uh, the size of the variable actually gets cut in half. So now I need a second variable. Let's make this a signed one, an int sum. And I'm not going to instantiate it this time. Sum is equal to 
num minus 8. 80. Let's make, make it force it into a negative. supposed to be, but it should give us a warning or something, but I guess it's not. Well, and run. And there you see we have the third Hello World is printing out neg negative 70, and I should have slash ends on the end of these lines. Okay. I think I'm running out of time, so I should... I think this is where I'm going to shut down. Okay, next tutorial I'll think of something else to do.